everybody, this is Praxis and work on this fallout shelter is going really well. You can see the retaining wall is coming along really nicely. I've got some clods of dirt up on the top and I've got hay on top of those. We've got some rain coming in today, but you know, just in general, you want to have hay on new slope material so it doesn't wash away. All that's coming out pretty well. And you can see right down here, I have uh, the vent pipe. Uh, it used to come up and stub out of the ground right there. I dug down, chopped it, and then took the piece of scrap that I had glued a 90 degree bend onto it, and then glued that whole thing back on here. The reason I did it in that order, instead of putting the bend on and then putting the piece of scrap in, is by having uh, the scrap stuck to the 90 degree bend, it allowed me to glue it on and then rotate it with a level on this nice straight section here to make sure that this was perfectly level through here. And the reason that's important is when I put another 90 degree bend here, if this wasn't level, this pipe here would be kind of like tipped off in one direction or the other. And I want this coming uh, straight up and down plumb out of the ground, not only so it looks nice, but also so it goes right straight up into the filter box. So work here is going really well. Uh, I'm not sure how much dirt I've really got in that pile way over there. I'm hoping that I've got six to 10 inches that I can add to the top of this. I'd love to, if I could get up to 14 inches. Um, my plan is I'm just gonna keep removing these little grass lump divots from there, uh, bring them over here, and I think I'm just gonna take all that dirt and put a nice bed on there and see what I've got. If I don't have six to 10 inches, I think I'm gonna go into the forest and get more stuff. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what we've got. I think six to 10, inch, uh, to 10 inches would be good, 14 would be great, but you know, the work goes step by step, and I like the fact that I'm generally prepared for uh, you know, situations, mean, I, means I don't have to be like really crazy about you know, what I'm doing here. I've got plenty of time, I feel, to do this project. Uh, you know, I'm not behind the gun on it, and because of that, I can make things look nice. You know, it doesn't have to be like this run, run around with your head cut off rush job. You know, I've got this really nice uh, retaining wall that I think is going to be a nice architectural uh, landscape element. You know, if or without, you know, with or without there being any nuclear apocalypse. So I like that. You, you, when you're prepared and you work on things, you don't have to rush so much. And I, I, that's a, that's the way I like to do things. That's it. Thanks for watching.